Hey, 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 what does it do? What it do? It's STS here. You know what time it is? It's now for another, it's time for another simple review. Here at my grandma's, this is the last review of being at my grandma's uh, this week. Uh, maybe in two weeks I'll be back. Or maybe a week I'll be back. Um, uh, but yeah, we did some, I ready for doing another simple review. Two movies that I've got for this whole 20 movies has not been has not been accepted in the simple review because I didn't get into it. Like the in-laws, the original in-laws with Alan Arkin and Peter Falk, not the new one, the remake with Albert Brooks and Michael Douglas. I do want to check out this one. And then older films are just not for me. And then also, The Boy. Yes, the horror movie, The Boy. Fucking stupid. I fell asleep through it, bored as fuck, and, the, I, and I just watched it through the end and skipped through it. Didn't care. But that ain't the case here. This is for the simple review that, you know, because this is the only newest movie that I got throughout the whole thing. And that's fucking spooky as fucking hell right there. But it's alright. This fucking mirror at my grandma's house is fully open. So some jackass stupid criminal or some jackass damn animal wants to play fucking peekaboo. You better not fucking ruin my fucking video, you big fucking shit. Alright. You better quit it. Damn, he's fucking... I hate this crap. But we are here for another simple review here. The Brothers Grimsley, uh, Grimsby. Or Grimsby in UK, whatever. Saka, or... Saka... I don't know how you say his name. Saka, or Sasha... 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 Sasha Baron Cohen. I know his shit from L.A.G. in the house. Borat. Uh, Bruno. I didn't really watch Bruno, though. Borat I've seen... Borat's probably his major one because it says from the man who brought you Borat. But him and Mark Strong, which I didn't recognize who Mark Strong was, and I saw, saw his his former movies. He was in Kick Ass. I didn't even see Kick Ass. But this, I, I, you know, I was going to watch this earlier, but then I watched the stupid boy movie and passed out sleep, so I'm glad I did it. Because many you know, people say, well, you give the movie a chance, the boy. No, I don't care. If I fall asleep, I get bored, I'm not going to watch it over again. But this right here is a fucking hilarious. I love. Sasha, Sasha, Bear, Sasha Baron Cohen. I don't know how to say his name. I'm just calling him SBC. SBC. He did some funny, stupid, offending bullshit. And this is basically, I mean, what well, they probably the group, the brothers Grimm, but the Gr brothers Grimsley, uh, Grimsby, as their town they're from. Uh, this is basically of what if James, what they say in the uh, behind the scenes thing. What if James Bond had a older, idiot, doofus brother? And that's how it is. I mean, the main story is, you know, you have so so SBC. He's characters, uh, Nobby, and he's a uh, English uh, hooligan kid. I mean, a 30-year-old, 40-year-old guy just with, uh, who, who's trying to find his brother. And then SBC's uh, Nobby, his wife played on here, or his girlfriend, is played by Rebel Wilson. One of the most sexy uh, BBW women are out there, and I'd, I'd pick her over my ex-wife Amanda. So, but um, and he meets up with his brother Sebastian Mercer, who's the James Bond-like character, and then he screws up every fucking thing, and then he has to follow his brother, and his brother, and there's a backstory which we'll talk about in a little bit. And, well, there's a backstory, and that's why his brother's really. When they first meet up, he doesn't give two shits because you find out later on in the film. And but I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but the main mission gone wrong, and then it just makes it hilarious. All when it first starts out, I mean, he's fucking, he's with, with Rebel, and then like he's in his bed, and he's like, when he's done coming in or whatever, he's like, we'll take it. He's out, he, and he's in a mattress store. <laughs> They were just fucking on a bed. They said, we'll take it. And that motherfucker takes it everywhere. He takes it in the bus and everywhere to his kids. But he has like 11 kids. It says nine kids. But if I said, maybe because of, because of his, because I think they, they have, because they have a granddaughter and grandson or whatever. It's ridiculous. And he keeps his brother's room in the same place as it was years ago when they were gone. Which I thought was really fucking stupid. It was, I mean, funny, not stupid. I mean, there's some really, some offending stuff. So let's just get up to the point. This is, I definitely recommend this film. Now, people, I know, uh, you know, you people get the sense of humor I do because I'm a very immature man, child, 26-year-old man. 
Well, I me mean, a child. And I can, I can do this shit. But this right here, this is a really fuck. Well, he, SBC always has some fucked up shit. I didn't have thought I would think to see of the scene at the middle of Africa where they're in a, in a, in a, in a lady's, uh, they're inside a fucking pussy, an elephant's pussy. Basically, just to get away from a chill Scott or whatever the fuck, chill cot or chill cunt or whatever. It's the fucking. Since he's he, he went a uh, fucking rogue, since they think that he the uh, fucking Sebastian killed the 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 leader of the the the, the helps the, the leader of the health organization, whatever, you know. But they had to hide, and then during this vagina, and then this elephant comes over with his big dick, and it shows it all. And they're inside it getting pounded, and then it comes, and it comes everywhere in their face. I think it was hilarious. I enjoyed that shit. Oh, I mean, there's so much, and then there's the, the, the scrotum sucking scene, which comes out like 10, 15 minutes in the film, which is like balls in, and, and SBC has to suck it, his own brother's fucking balls just to get the poison out and shit. I thought it was hilarious. And there's some really, there's some fucked up shit on here. I mean, you know, at the end of the film, you know, at the at the, at the final, at the, at the final cup, at the World Cup, they have to fucking put their assholes in this bomb to fucking just do, before this poison gets everywhere, to, it makes the disinfection get out everywhere. Penelope Cruz, or Penelope Cruz, she plays the bad guy on here, and she's the front of the film. She thinks is this good girl person, but she's really just a dumb, stupid cunt who fucking tries to just wants to just have this infection all over the world. You know, I think the, the, I mean, it was just great, but I mean, all together, we can, before I do the whole spoiler rundown, talk about the scenes and whatnot again, I mean, I like this film. I definitely recommend this film. This is very funny as hell. I, I, I probably could rewatch this film, you know, um, but I do rec. I, lo I like this film. There's nothing too bad about it, you know, just your, from the back of it. I mean... But it's all together. I mean, some people I do not recommend this to. Like the the the, the pacification of American people. I don't recommend this because you'd be fucking. Ooh, there's the there's there's guys sucking brothers' balls on here. There's a fucking elephant getting uh, bukkake every fucking where in a guy's face and everything. Like that. So you know who gives a shit. But I loved it. And throughout the whole joint, I didn't fall asleep. Nothing. I was intrigued with this whole fucking action comedy. Uh, one hell of a best, and I, I like it. SBC brings back the other day. I've not seen Bruno, and I haven't seen much of his films in a while. But he's hilarious. Looks like he says about his mentor. He's he he has all these characters and everything, and he like his 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 mentor or his his, his idol uh, Peter Sellers, which I did a review on the party, which is on my uh, simple review playlist as I did, but all the way together. So I mean, this right here. Awesome film. Go check it out. The brother, the brothers Grim, Grimsby. All right. The spoiler rundown. I mean, basically, I mean, let's see. I mean, the backstory of this we can talk about. You know, as it stems on, he's been trying to find his brother and stuff. But his his old uh, Nobby's hooligan friends, which he goes and goes for the bar and shit and just chill. That's probably one thing that I'd probably be doing if I was in the UK. Just him with the bars and hanging out with all my friends, the hooligans, you know, fights and stuff and then root for your own fucking soccer team. Or football team. That's soccer. Football. But, um, but they didn't find his brother. We didn't know how that he found his brother, that they found his brother. They said, oh, he's going to be at a charity event. I mean, we didn't even know about that, so there's a really con on the, the film, but it doesn't matter. There's more positives than this con, cons films here. I mean, that's one thing we didn't know, and then you beat him up there, he's like a pompous dick, but then you realize that his brother, uh, Nobby, was a cunt himself, because the backstory was when it showed him his kids, because he kept getting flashbacks of all these places he'd been on the train station, it was very sad, which you th said that, well, because their parents died or whatever, and or something, and then they had to be good to a boy's house or adoption agency, and then they were about to be they had to be picked out at the same time because their brother, just like the uh, the headmaster of the boys' school said, if these two are again each other, I mean, be away from each other, it's it's gonna be a hell. But the train, uh, Nobby left, and and he shows them uh, uh, Sebastian like, where's Nobby? At? You know, what are you leaving me for? 
But he didn't realize in the back of the story that he left him because he heard he overheard that these people the, the people that were adopted just wanted him. You know. And so he says he's gonna go to the bathroom and but he just he, Sebastian was going to the bathroom, but Nobby left and he just backed out of the train. And you find out that you know, that's the reason why uh Sebastian has a really strong, doesn't give two shits about his brother until at that very moment when they're both naked in the bathtub with their penises fist pumping each other, which I thought was very hilarious to see about. I mean, I mean that's the whole backstory to it. And then you, and Sebastian goes up and is his brother, but it's just amazing, entertaining shit. I mean, we got the scenes where he's, they said that, oh, come in and interfere, or uh, uh, come in and I. Seduce this woman who's in green, and he this and and Nobby's, he's attracted to the BBW women, uh, and then there's this chick that he would be seducing who's on green, looking like, oh. but then here comes this black chick who I forgot who plays Precious from the movie Precious, I believe, and uh, he goes after her, and <clears throat> one of the thing is uh, green, uh, was it green eyes, greenhouse or, of, green eyes or herbs. I don't fucking know, but they had these certain lenses which it first started out when you see uh, Sebastian's character. We see his point of view. I mean, him fighting everybody and whatnot. Well, the stage, well, the case was, they went to, they, well, the one of the scenes where they went to Africa uh, with, uh, with Nobby and Sebastian. Well, Sebastian and Nobby switched needles around. He got bought heroin from this uh, African brother down there, and then he switched needles, and then he got knocked to fight. Well, he was drugged out of his mind with the heroin. And then so fucking Nobby has to do it. <clears throat> but he gets a hold of Isa Fisher, who is Sa Sasha Baron Cohen's real wife. And it's real funny too. What what is up with these films that uh we'll talk about real quick? What's up with these films? And I don't I don't I don't know how they can do it. I mean, I don't know how I mean from the film, I mean, honestly it's a, a heavy lot of editing. I mean I don't understand how couples being films that they're not really together. At the same, like they're, I mean, they're together, but I mean, their characters are just with this other guy. Like his his wife, as a picture, is played by. She plays a fucking. I don't care. Her, her, where's her name? Let's see. I'm just trying to see what character she played. Jo Jody Figs and. And she's going after Mark Strong's character, who's played by Sebastian. And then you have Rebel Wilson's point as that. And I watched, I watched the, the behind the scenes of the special features saying, oh, he, Rebel's like, oh, he has to be his movie, but he said be his girlfriend, but he had, to, he had to fuck me before he did. And then it had him say, well, I have my wife, who's, who's been, who's going after Mark, you know. I never understood that. It just looked like I watched the... It, God, was that my stomach? But I, I, like I said about the... Uh, like I watched the movie uh, and did a review for The Indian Fighter with Kirk Douglas, where and when I did the review, I mean, I think I did it and then watched and then read it. Hell, he's, he goes after a fucking, like, an Indian, like, 20 years a senior, 10 or 15 years a senior, I think. And then there's this other white chick that just froze himself. I mean, he don't get two shits. Then I find out later that the actress is actually, it was his first wife he had. He had kids with, he had kids with Michael Douglas with. And the others, it's like, wow, I just never understood that. But then again, making money, making money, you know, fuck it. But I couldn't deal with that. I don't know, I don't know how I could deal with that. Um, but he has the green eyes, and then, and, well, he said green eyes, and then he had the vision where he was fucking the black chick, and then they had, oh, let's see, what do you see? So they had the eyes up, and he's up this black woman's ass, like people care for John and shit. Everybody's laughing. It was probably hilarious. There's so many fucked up, funny, offending bullshit on this film that makes me fucking giggle. That makes me just laugh at, oh, you stupid fucking parasite fucking PC fucking clone bugs. They're like, oh, bitchy, bitchy. I thought the joke between the, when they first started with Daniel Radcliffe getting AIDS, I mean, from the fucking blood, <laughs> going from the sky, from his AIDS all the way to Daniel Radcliffe's mouth, and then they repeat that at the damn Final Cup game, at the final, uh, um, World, the World Cup with Donald Trump, which was hilarious. And at the very end of the film, it says, We did not, Jenna Rigg was not involved in this film. Donald Trump was not involved in this film. Or they do not, do not have AIDS, you know. Well, I think what, you know, one of the favorite tag, one of the, 
words or dialogue is from Sebastian telling Nubby, well, you just meant, because he's the one that fucked up the thing because he hugged his fucking brother while his brother was trying to assassinate this fucking asshole assassin who was trying to kill, who did kill the leader of the uh, World Health, whatever the fuck, Association, Center of the Health of Disease, whatever the fuck, I don't care. And he, he had a scene saying, like, like, the world's, the guy's dead, and he also gave, Harry, and Harry Potter has fucking AIDS. <laughs> He's like, you may, you did something that Voldemort didn't do, they couldn't do in eight bucks, in eight years, or <laughs> whatever it was. And I thought that was hilarious. I mean, it's just, it's just so great. There's so many fucked up, like, shit, and fighting lines, and everything. And then once he has a gun, do not ever give not Nobby a gun. He's a trigger happy motherfucker, and he 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 can just kill you. Don't give him two shits. And I thought that scene was hilarious. You know, his whole family's out these nine kids. Hell, he, his granddaughter's fucking. I mean, his his daughter's like fucking with her boyfriend right in front of him, and then one guy's in the toilet with the door open. I mean, that seems like the fucking family I would probably have. I mean, who knows? Um. But you know, at the very end of the day, they have to save up, because they find out Penelope Cruz, when she plays good at the very first start, like I said before, and she ends up getting to be the bad bitch later in the film, you see. And then at the very end, that they have to save this uh, this thing with this disease or whatever, because it's in these fireworks. Well, they have fight up everybody. They try to get all the hooligans to go after the World Cup and shit, but they end up getting slowed down at the very middle, almost to the middle of the field because they're too fucking fat and all that shit. So I thought it was hilarious. All the kids, the hooligan kids, the little kids in there, like when they killed uh, Chill Scott, where the fuck, a chill cunt, which was a team that his own, because when they thought he went rogue, they had to get these killer-ass motherfucking elite people to come in. But man, they have no match against the hooligan kids. And when they threw down the fucking handicapped motherfucker, the guy who has the AIDS and shit, the little boy who was in the first start, they threw him at the end of the fucking movie at this fucking guy and killed him. And then he's get, he, and then the guy's involved and he got arrested for it. And he's like, fuck Palestine, fuck everybody, I had the worst fucking week ever. Um, that was hilarious. But at the very end of the day, you know, they basically died. But basically they didn't, because they had to put their own assholes on a firework just to get all the shit away. But they, they did it forever, they did it, brunched forever. And there's some, it could be a little tough, there's a little lovey-dovey moments of being with your brothers there. But it was an awesome film. But, I mean, that's all I gotta say with the film and shit. Uh, he, he never lets me down. I did not, I have not seen Bruno all the way. Um, I seen, I seen Borat in the theaters when it first came out, theaters. I like in the house of the very first one ever knew about the guy. I didn't, I, I have not seen fully of the general. But maybe I can only see But... That was the brother Grimsby, or Grimsby, and uh, UK. I definitely recommend this film. I love it. There's too many fucking scenes and shit. And at the very end of the day, they're in the hospital where Isa Fisher's with Mark Strong and then River Wilson's with Sasha right there when they're trying for fucking pennies and his fucking asshole since his asshole is so fucking huge because of the fucking firework up his ball, his ass. But. It, it, it was great. I fucking... There, there's too many total laughs. The elephant cum scene. The fucking sucking on the, his ball as scrotum. And at the very end of the day, the final cup. I love this film. I think you guys will love it too. Unless you're not some uh, offending motherfucking stupid ass. But I am STS. Thank you again for a long fucking simple review for the, the Brothers Grimsby. Grimsby? Grimsby. I'm going to say it all wrong. But we'll see you again for another simple review on... I'm STS. Peace.